Hi, I'm Mark Collins. When we're hungry, it's easy enough to get our fix. Just go to the refrigerator. But in the oceans, biological systems feed in a tiered paradigm. The big fish feed on smaller fish, and the smallest things are the primary producers. Those producers are the teeny plankton. Coming up, I'm going to show you how girls look at it with some big surprises and take on a dare that would make most folks gag. <laughs> Come aboard the RV Bellows in search of the most abundant life in the ocean. Looking out, you can't see the sea drifters, but plankton is everywhere around Egmont Key. Just one drop can hold 3,000 mostly microscopic plants and animals. In this USF oceanography camp for girls, eighth graders see how life starts small in the sea. Special nets are dragged behind the Florida Institute of Oceanography's research vessel to scoop up organisms at the base of the food web. After several minutes, the plankton net are pulled up and hosed down with the organic briny rinse concentrated in a container. The algae stench is truly unappetizing, yet over the years, Dr. Teresa Greeley developed a learning ritual that takes courage, and I get to test the waters. Part of the study here is to look at the plankton, to see the texture, to see how much plankton's in the cup, and of course, bottoms up the chicken. Swallowed whole, the grass of sea called phytoplankton. One gulp at a time, zooplankton. The animals that eat the phytoplankton plants. Down the hatch they go. Now had the students come face to face with the life in the cup, there would almost certainly be no takers for this communal drink. In the lab, we see a place measured by microns and millimeters, and the ingredients become clear. Marble shrimp? Yes, looks like Marble yes. shrimp. The microscope brings the hidden into focus, revealing alien-like creatures. It looks like a ghost. It does. It looks like a, uh, it looks like a skeleton. The armor of a copepod exoskeleton bumps against oval fish eggs. Diatoms intrigue students when they learn half of all the phytoplankton come from these silica-based algae. Researchers spend a lifetime studying these environmental markers and learning about their miniature world to make ours better. FIO subsidized ship time encourages young women to understand marine systems. Moments like these last a lifetime and promote future career interest in science.